boss man himself, Mark Cuban. All right, Cuban, this is kind of special for me because- It's Cubes, not Cuban. Oh, Cubes, okay. First time well, I- You can call me Cuban. Okay. First time Cuban. I saw you was at, uh, <laughs> first time I saw you was at um, Union Arena, and that's when the Mavs played the Knicks. Uh-huh. And you were sitting up there at the Chiefs with us, uh -huh. with me and my dad. Really? And so, um, I went up to you side of my ticket. Uh-huh. I was such an awe by you. The first reaction to me was like, okay, can you get my website? I want to watch the game, I know. You know, that's why I don't go out there quite as much because now everybody, you know, I could, that was way back when, so I can kind of sneak in and out, right? Not so much anymore, but I always wanted to see the, the view of the game from every position in the arena. As far as I had a season going, and of course, this is year number one without Dirk. What is your feelings right now? I even seen Dirk just on the court right now. I mean, it's different, obviously, but fortunately, we got off to a good start. Otherwise, or a decent start. Otherwise, it would have been a lot more painful not having him here. But he's around and we talk and, um, he, he's still a part. He's on the court, obviously. He's talking to the guys. He's texting guys all the time. So it's definitely different, um, and we miss him. But, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to do the best we can. Do you feel like you're in a great position now, now that you have Luke and you have him? Do you feel like the torch has been passed? Better than we were a few guys. years ago. That's yeah. the last show. <laughs> right. um, so, you, see, you know, you never want to make predictions. So um, we'll just see. But obviously, they're two great players. Um, and they both have room to improve and they both have room to make each other even better. Along with the other guys in the court, I think our second unit, um, the Swish Mob, I like that, uh, doesn't, doesn't get full credit because, you know, when when we had those guys and we weren't a very good team, people just kind of dismiss them for the second unit on a bad team must be bad. But now that we're a lot better and we got the tools in place, our second unit, you know, is, is really leading the way and has led the way for a bunch of our games. And it's done better than our first unit at times. All right, I know you're a busy man, but what was the last move? the last movie, um, Good Burger, with my son. Are you serious? Yeah. Um, I had the tape. The I'm table dude, good you're burger. a dude, you need to do, because we're all dudes. I had the table Good Burger, man. It's still one of the most underrated Nickelodeon oh, movies. Oh, best ever. <laughs> if you got I'm a chance. A dude, she's a dude, he's a dude, because we're all dudes. Shout out to Carmen Alerta, by the way. That was um, also in there. But, um, if, if you had a choice for a biopic to come out about you, what actor would you pick mm. to play you in the biopic? I don't know. John Cena, maybe. <laughs> I mean, the, no, the facial features in the chin kind of like kind of match. So, see so if I get seen on the line for that casting call. Uh, all right, man, all right, I got all right, Mark. Have a good one.